What's up boys? We're at Walmart yet again for another video. We're going to be doing a challenge today. It's been a minute since I've done a Walmart fishing challenge, so I kind of want to do it today. If you guys want to see some Walmart fishing challenges, let me know in the comment section below. I'm actually going to be giving stuff away that we're using today, so if you guys want to enter that, all you have to do to enter the giveaway is be subscribed to the channel, so hit that subscribe button. Also, a notification bell right next to the subscribe button. Be sure to press that as well. Like the video and then comment below. Hashtag the real deal. And then you're entered to the giveaway on what we're gonna be choosing today. But come here, I wanna show you guys. All right, so, you know, I was looking around, I was trying to figure out like what challenge we should do today, what's gonna actually work today. It's really hot outside, it's really windy as well, so I don't know how the audio is gonna be. But man, I was looking around here, and we got this little bass fishing kit right here. I haven't done one of these yet. I know my buddy Norm did one like this. Um, this one's already open, we don't want that one. Yeah, he did one, and uh, I was like, man, I kinda wanna do one. So we got some stick baits, we got some lizards, we got some curly tail worms, we got some crawls, we got a little bit of everything in here. And I think we're gonna take this out in the water today and see how many lures in this box that we catch some fish on. So I feel like that's the whole deal, but yeah. Right here, little basket by Yum. I feel like that's the deal. But if you guys wanna win this, if you guys want this kit right here, all you have to do, like I said, be subscribed, like the video, turn on post notifications, and comment below, hashtag the real deal near to the giveaway also if you guys would like uh tell me what video you guys would like to see next as a walmart challenge with that so don't do do hashtag the real deal and then comment what walmart challenge you guys want to see next and if you guys want to see some more yeah let's go ahead and go buy this thing and get out on the lake and see if we can catch fish all right boys we got our little ten dollar tackle box right here with all our little assorted lures but guess what we're going to start off with uh just a sanko really basic a little uh basic white boy bait the I think we could, you know, go pop a fish on real quick. So, little sank, whoo, <laughs> little sank over right there. That's what we're using. And yeah, so just to show you guys kind of what we got, we got a watermelon red sanko, June bug sanko, watermelon uh, seed sanko, and that's a smaller one. Got some hooks. Got a little finesse worm. Got a big curly tail worm, and that looks like it's in like a plum color. And then we got a watermelon seed lizard. All right, that's all the base that we got in the box. Starting off with the Senko, that's what we're gonna rock and roll with. And uh, hopefully we can catch fish. Once we catch fish on a lure, we're gonna switch to the next one. At least we're gonna try, unless they're just smoking one and I just can't resist. But that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this bad boy, little our little $10 tackle box out there and then uh, we're gonna give it a try. Hopefully catch a big fish. Let's get it rolling. All right, boys, so we're starting off on the Senko. I see a ton of bait on the bank. I'll see some baby bass on the bank. We're going to catch one on the Senko. It's a little windy. I'm going to apologize for that. Hopefully that doesn't affect us too much today. Um, but let's go ahead see if we can catch one on the Senko, man. I'm excited. See if they're going to be biting today. It's a hot day, I can tell you that. Conditions a little bit cloudy. We got some wind action. Wish I was throwing a moving bait right now, I'll be honest with you. Um, and it's about 75, 80 degrees out here in uh, Savannah right now. So it's going to be an interesting day. And hopefully we can soak this worm and get a bite. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Holy crap, that, that was stupid. Second cast, I already have one about slobbered on me on this little Senko. He's a tiny guy, I can tell you that. I can just tell how he's eating it. He never had it all the way in his mouth. Right in that corner, by that little pipe. Heck, let's see if he bites again. Oh, yeah, he did, all right. Oh my God. <laughs> Guys, this fish is so small. Oh my God. God, oh man, it's a big one. Holy crap. Yes, for the first fish of the day, I had my back towards the wind, guys. That was so weird and he creamed that thing. That is a solid like two and a half, three pounder. Holy crap, yes sir. Boys, look at that fish right there on the Senko. That, that is awesome right there. That's about, that's pushing three pounds right there. That's a beautiful fish. Pretty thick. Hammered it. First first fish of the day. That's what an amazing way to start that right there. With the Senko, you're getting all beautiful bass like that. You cannot beat that right there. Well, we got one bait knocked off the list. That's the Junebug Senko. I think we're going to still work with the Senko. We're just going to use the watermelon red one this next time. But man, that for the first fish, baby? I do not mind that at all. Let's get him back in the water. Oh, he was ready. All right, so now we're going to get the watermelon red Senko, throw it on the Texas rig, see if we can catch fish. Watermelon red is the next beta choice. 
still working with the Sanko and this $10 tackle box. What we're gonna do, the watermelon red. And this wind is whipping, guys. Like I said, I apologize. This is just ridiculous. We're gonna have to turn our back to this. Get him. Yeah. Holy cow, is he big? He's fighting good, ain't he? Is he big? Well, he's not coming up. I know, I don't know where he is. Oh, yeah, he's not that big. He's fighting hard though. He's not bad. Solid pound and a half. Heck yeah, that's your first fish. So wait, are you doing a challenge with me? Yeah. All right, so you caught one on the gym. I guess, all right, all right we both got June Buck Sankos. So are you gonna change to like the same one I just put on? Sure. All right, cool. Yeah. Let me see it, let me see it one more time. Oh yeah, oh yeah, two fish already. Let's get him back in the water. Heck yeah, good job. Pow. I wanna make it over there because it's not as windy, but I mean, if they're biting here, I don't really wanna leave. So boys, a little quick change of plan. So we've been throwing this green pump or this watermelon red for a minute now, both of us, and nothing, not a bite. So I think I'm gonna switch over to the lizard and she's gonna put on that, that like plum ribbon tail worm right there. Um, I'm gonna throw the lizard. We're gonna see if we can catch some on that. Just switch it up. You know, we're gonna go back to that color, but just to try something different, especially since we already caught one on a Sanko. We can go back to that one in a little bit, but like, I don't know. I'm gonna try the lizard, see if we can get the bass on it. We're still gonna put it on the same little old Texas rigger that we got on. And uh, hopefully catch a told. Here goes the little watermelon seed lizard on a Texas rig. Okay. A little greasy boys, a little slimy man. We're gonna go throw this thing on this pipe, catch our first drain pipe lizard bass. That's about to happen. Well, I'm about to get shalob. Oh! A little greasy boy, see if he'll eat that one. A little greasy man, he'll definitely chomp that thing. I'm telling you, I catch him on moving base railing past that every time. He'll definitely eat the lizard or the worm. He's me. He wants the lizard. He wants the old lizard wizard. Yeah. Watch, the game over. All right, we throw a few in there, he gonna eat it. Who gets the drain dogs? Uh oh, I got him. What? Oh, he's a good one. Holy cow. Come in, come in. Yes. I swear I've caught you like five times, buddy. I swear it's the same one I caught in the drain last time. <laughs> Solid two pounder right there. If that, he might be pounding three quarters. That's the same fish I caught last time. His lip is jack. All right, boys. Third fish of the day. Beautiful little lizard bass. And he is dark compared to the others. He's been living in that pipe right there for a while. I believe I've caught the same fish. You can actually tell where his lip's been jack. I'm telling you, I really believe I came here and caught this fish like Maybe last week, maybe two weeks ago. Let's get him back in the water. What a beautiful guy though. Got some nice colors on him. He looks like a Florida bass <laughs> living in that pipe. There he goes. Look, yeah, so what I did is I've been throwing this lizard. Matter of fact, it was, it was <laughs> like almost my first cast on it. So that lizard right there is what I caught him on, little Texas rig lizard. We might make another cast with it. I want to see if we'll munch this thing, but first cast on the pipe, he drilled it. Just didn't have it all the way. Took me a couple more casts at it, and then he finally ate it. And he ate the old lizard, man. That's two baits down, two baits down, baby. And uh, we're already rocking and rolling, and that's uh, three, yeah, three fish overall. So let's see if we can go catch another one. This is where we're gonna catch him. Right here. It's about to go down. Yeah. Oh my gosh. How in the heck? That was so stupid. He hit me so hard. I'm throwing back in there. I know you'd be right there. He like tanked it. There he is. <gasps> that was a big fish. How he just snapped my line. He just snapped 17 pound line like it was nothing. At least four or five pounds. Yeah, I had a fray in my line. I can see it, dude. This dog does not shut up. Well, boys, just got to a new location. And we gonna try to catch a fish. I'm kind of pissed off about that one, man. I really think it was a big one. I, I had that I had that big worm on the big curly tail, the biggest bait in the box. We still haven't caught a fish on it. Lost I've lost two and she lost one. But anyways, we're gonna give it a try. We got this one spot over here that hopefully we can catch some fish. I gotta put me on a new rig. I gotta put me on weight. It's not gonna work weightless, but um, man. Yeah, that was a good fish. When I hooked at him, he just didn't even move. And um, 
Mm, he left a big boil when I broke him off, but we're gonna continue, see if we can catch another one. Hopefully finish all the baits in the box, catch fish on every single one. Look at him, man. Look at him just running. Boom, 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 boom. That's how you know it's getting hot outside. All right, so we're going back with the big old curly tail worm right here. I didn't even peg it this time. I just put a little weight and an old hook. Let's see if we can catch one on it. I'm not giving up on this worm. We missed too many fish on there and I lost a giant on there. Maybe we'll end up hooking a big one. Not tell me there's not one under this dock on this hot day. <laughs> and one dock in the whole pond. I love some left hand skips. Here he is. Here he is. Oh, are you kidding me? He took my worm. Look at my worm sitting there. You got one on the worm? He come off? Yep, he took some of my tail. What the heck? And she just had one. Ah, guys, this is just, this is really aggravating. Very aggravating. Whoa. Oh, he's running with me. Look at this. Yep. Finally, hey, finally. She's got one, I got one. We just doubled up across the pond. God, he hammered that thing. I didn't bring any extra worms over here, of course. I'll have to run and grab some. They we're gonna flip these trees a little bit more. I know there's a ton of fish in there. Finally, we got the big worm done. Holy crap, that was aggravating for the longest time. She got one on it and I just got one on it. So there we go. Heck yeah, baby. Hit that like button now. That worm is so destroyed. I think we're gonna try to rig this thing. Look at it, it's like broke down the middle. I don't know how this is gonna work, but we're gonna try. It doesn't look as sexy as it normally would, but it'll work. This is perfect throwing these trees. Can't believe there's not more. Has to be, so convinced. Oh, oh. Oh my God. Yep, they're stacked in these trees. Ugh. <laughs> that guy was whistling my rod so hard. I think this is the one that me messed up a worm a minute ago. I really do. Heck yeah. We're getting them now on this worm. Nothing big, but man, that's still fun on a big worm. All right, buddy. Thank you for bite, man. Let's get back in there. I'm going to catch your friend. I'm going to catch your mama. Big mama. Definitely a fish right there. We about to catch one. Watch this. There ain't no way there's a not. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. <laughs> They're not big guys, but I mean, we're, we're smoking them out of these trees. I think we're gonna have to go get some other worms and come back over here and just keep catching them. I mean, that's three. I, we could have had more. It just makes sense. You know, it's a sunny day like today. These fish are just piling up on this cover like these trees right here. And you know, you throw you a big old Texas rig in there and you know they just munch it up. But look at that little pretty bass. Nothing big, but a little beautiful guy. Thank you for biting, buddy. Oh. <laughs> well, can we get another fish off this worm? That's the question. Heck yeah. I think we can. <laughs> we are wagging about this worm. There has to be one on this front side of the tree as well. We're just kind of breaking this down. What I'm looking for, guys, is obviously places to where I can get this worm through. But I'm really paying attention to, you know, dragging across these limbs and keeping contact. I'm not throwing directly in there, so I'm going to get hung up, but, you know, I'm keeping contact, dragging across those limbs, and that's really when I'm catching those fish, and uh, that's what I'm focusing on. Another thing I'm really focusing on is in, in this whole area right here. Like, you have this pipe, all right, and you have this concrete, and then right there on the edge of that concrete, there's a little bit of shade, and it just made the most sense of why I caught that fish. You know, like, I flipped in there just like that around the edge of that concrete, and that fish was sitting there right there in that shade, in that little transition point from that tree to that concrete. And that's just, you know, little play, little things like that that you pick up on is it will really help you catch more fish, especially in ponds where there's usually not too much cover. I mean, I don't know what kind of ponds you guys are fishing, but, you know, if you really pay it, there he is. Oh, he took my worm. 
All right, we well, yeah, we got to go back and get some more worms. But what I was saying is like, usually most of the ponds, you know, they don't have as much cover. Um, but really, when you find a pond like this that doesn't have too much cover, but you know, it has some along the banks like this, and it's really isolated, not too much of it, you really need to come fish it, especially on a day like today where it's pretty hot, sun's beaming, fish are a little lethargic, and you need to slow down and drag a soft plastic. What should I throw next? I kind of want to throw a green something because this water's clear. Well, I want to throw the worm, but it's like. I haven't caught one on this yet. This, uh, I feel right? like you could catch one on this. Oh yeah, 100%. There we go, green putt, or watermelon red Sanko. I can't believe we haven't caught one on this yet. It's like the basic white boy lure. Well, like I don't know, I was killing them on that worm over there. But I was standing up here so I couldn't get a good hand. Uh oh, here he is. On the Sanko, boom, first cast. Just like that. All right, that's a good learning point. This is something good we can talk about right here. So she's been fishing over here for how long? You've been fishing over here quite a minute. Um, and she was sitting there throwing that curly tail worm right there. She missed a few fish. She caught a few fish. Or you only caught one, right? I only caught one. I missed two. I got you. So she missed a few fish. She caught a fish on that worm. And, you know, she stopped getting some bites. So I came over here with the Sanko, which is a totally different bait. Still a slow-moving bait, but, you know, a totally different one and cast it in their first cast and he ate it. It just shows, you know, switching up the presentation, throwing a different bait, and I can really trigger that bite. And it's a smart thing to do, especially if they keep seeing that lure repetitively, is to switch something up and throw something different in there. And uh, that's what we just did. Boom, got a fish right there. Let's uh, cast back in there, see if we can catch another. Get him. Oh my God, that might be a big one. Ooh. Whoa, <laughs> not a bad one. I knew it was going to be one off that grass. That's called that lure before you cast it. Oh, that's on the other worm. So that's another bait knocked off, ain't it? My show, my show, my show. Caught him on. That was on the finesse worm, right? Yeah, finesse worm. Heck yeah. Good job. That was right off that little little grass mound right there. Boom. Along the bank. Literally. I called that thing. Mm -hmm. Called it. Boom, right there. Bow. So we gonna take this one off. I think I'm gonna put a standard Junebug Sanko on, honestly. We've caught a fish just about on every single bait except for the smaller Sanko, but she's throwing that. And this water's a little dirty, so I'm just gonna throw this thing on. I'm gonna throw the old standard juice right here. There. See if he bites on the second one. He tipped it the first time. Yep, he's got it. There he is. Oh, he came off. What the heck? I had him. See that? Or he had it right at the hook. You can see where his teeth grabbed onto it. Let's throw it back in there. I don't think he's gonna bite again since we kind of stuck him, but there might be, no, there's more than one right there. You got one? Big? Is he on the baby Sanko? Yeah. All right, there you go. That's the last, that's the baby Sanko fish. So we caught a fish on every single bait in the box. Heck yeah. Every bait in the box we caught a fish on, guys. Every single bait. I think it was like seven or eight baits. We got a fish on. That's it. That's game over. I don't know if we should end it off or I might go. I'm probably gonna make a few more casts in that corner, see if I can catch one more. But I mean, heck, complete the challenge. So since it's coming to the end of the video, I think I should talk about kind of how we were working these baits today. So if you guys were wondering, I was throwing everything on, a simple old Texas rig, a little EWG hook and a tiny little lead weight, just basic and simple for pond fishing. Uh, you know, cheap and expensive way and you know, Something simple that we could all do. So that's what I was throwing it on. Um, every single bait, we're working pretty much the same way. You know, throw it out there. Obviously, all these are bottom baits. Let it sink to the bottom. And, you know, a few times I was hopping it. I think you're more of hopping it, aren't you? You're more dragging it. I'm kind of sitting there just dragging the bait to the side. That was kind of like the bite today. I was sitting here dragging the worm. We weren't really hopping it off the bottom. It's more one of those days where they want it a little bit slower and drag on the bottom, especially this big worm with that paddle tail just, you know, digging in. But yeah, that's pretty basic. You know, we're working it really basic. Throw it out there, let it hit the bottom, then just straight drag that thing. Working it pretty slow. Every once in a while, let the bait dead stick. But rather than that, that's that's the pretty basic way of what we're doing it. We got watermelon red Sankos. We got watermelon sea Sankos. We got June bug Sankos. We got the hooks. We got the lizards. We got the finesse worm. And we got the curly tail worm. Guess what, guys? That's the whole box right there. We caught a fish on every single bait. Absolutely completed this challenge. That's one, two, three, four, five, six bait. Six? Yeah, six baits so that we caught the fish on. And a hook. Matter of fact, I caught a fish on a hook too. So uh yeah, we used everything in this box. Absolutely killed it today. 
If I, it, layering it down, this is a ten dollar box, guys, right here of assorted lures. Buy yum. You can get it at Walmart. Ten dollar box. I know a lot of people are gonna ask, Noah, is it worth buying this box? And I'm gonna be real with you. When you buy a lot of assorted stuff, it's usually crap. You know what I mean? Like you got all these colors that you don't use. You got this, this, and that. But this box, all the colors are honestly good. They're really good. All the baits in here are really good. I mean, you got all these Sankos. Like this is watermelon red. That's one of the basic colors right there. You got watermelon seed, basic color. June bug, great dirty water color. Green pumpkin, perfect. This is this a little finesse worm? Perfect for a drop shot. Like they're all good colors and they're all good baits. We got three Sankos, one finesse worm, one curly tail worm, and one lizard. But yeah, that that I honestly think it's worth the ten dollars if you guys are gonna go buy something at Walmart that you just want to go take with you with fishing. You know, if you don't have many baits and you just need a little box. Um, it doesn't come with weights, so I do suggest buying some weights for the old Texas rigs, but it does come with hooks. Rather than that, man, I go purchase this $10 box. If you guys are looking for some lures that you want to go catch some fish on at some ponds one day, or some lakes, or, or some kayak fishing, whatever the heck you're doing, I think it's worth $10. It's worth my investment, but I'm going to be giving it away to you guys anyway. So if you guys haven't entered the giveaway, go skip to the beginning of the video where I teach you guys, or I tell you guys how to enter this giveaway, and um, I'll be picking one lucky winner to receive this tackle box that was featured in the video but if you guys have been enjoying the content recently be sure to hit that like button if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet be sure to hit that subscribe button there's also a notification bell right next to the subscribe button be sure to click that as well and leave a comment below on what walmart challenge you would like to see next thank you guys so much for watching i'll be guys coming in here you guys